Just shifting this back up to the top. Okay, right. Um, we've got a first question in the in the paper. Um, let me just get a pen back up. Right. So, electron configuration for a chlorine atom in its ground state is shown. Fair enough. This is your orbital box diagrams. Circle one. This is important. It's bold electron of the above diagram that can be described by the following set of quantum numbers. So we've got n equals two. Right. Well, for a start, you can just get rid of all these now because it is only the second energy level we're looking at. L equals 1, so that is our subshell shape, so we're in the p orbital now. And m equals minus 1, well we've got minus 1, 0 and 1 as our, op sorry, 1 as our options, so these are our orientations. We've got no information here as to x, y, z, you don't know any of these things, so it doesn't actually really matter. And then we've got a plus uh, a half, so basically as long as you go around one electron, it would be accepting it, any one of these really, because there's no real information about spin. I would probably pick an upspin just because it's plus a half, um, but any one of these, okay? Um, right, a compound of chlorine boron trichloride reacts with hydrogen to produce boron. Standard entropy change, delta S is 79.4 gel joules Kelvin per mole. Um, calculate delta G in del kilojoules per mole for this reaction at 298K. Okay, right, it's just a two marker, um, but when I say just, that means a fair amount of work for an advanced tower calculation, obviously. Um, right, okay, so the reason it's two nowadays and not three is because you've got this in your data book. Okay, right now I've scribbled this down, so let's see if we can follow this through. Right, so our delta H is 127, that's fine, uh, minus our T delta S, so our T here is 298. And our delta S being careful, uh, 79.4, but we need to divide that by 1,000 because we need that into kilojoules, and this is currently in joules. Okay, that's, the, to be honest, the only real trick on this one. Plug all that into your calculator, and you should get 103.3388. They were accepting uh, 103.34, uh, 103.3, um, and even and 103. Um, That's it. Okay. Right. Another compound of silver, sorry, chlorine, silver one chloride, forms an equilibrium mixture with an excess chloride ion. Okay. Given the equation, um, delta G and the equilibrium constant K are related as shown. Right. So this is just this is just applying a formula. I would say it's almost more arithmetic math substitution than anything else. Um, we've been given our delta G. We've been given our R here. We've been given our T up there. So we just apply it. Okay, so here's our equation. Delta G equals minus 2.30 RT log 10 K. Right, so I'm going to rearrange in two parts here. So I'm going to rearrange for log K first because I think that's easier. So swap the whole thing over. We have our log K here, our delta G here and get rid of our minus 2.3 RT. And that's us. Okay, so that's it rearranged. So plugging in our numbers. So we've got 25.6 for our delta G, minus 2.3, uh, where we're going times 8.31 times 10 to the minus 3, and our temperature is 298K. Okay, so I mean, keeping it in your calculator is going to be a better way to do this. Um, I did do the sum in two parts just to check my additions were correct, but when you get the whole thing out, you get 4.49464. Now, if you get this far, that would get you one mark, but this is not k. We need k, so we need to get rid of our log 10, so we're basically just going to do a 10 to the power. So k, when we flip it over, is going to be 10 to the minus 4.49464. Okay, plug it into your calculator, and you should get... 3.20 times 10 to the minus 5. It was accepting another kind of two or three numbers on figures on this one here. No units on equilibrium constant, you should know that. That's us.